Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's see how we're going to do this. Yeah, we are live. And uh, Italian followers, okay. Maybe invite to join. Else, glow. Glows. Okay. Yeah, but I don't see how I'm inviting her. Go live in the room. <laughs> I press this and now I don't see nothing is happening. So you see, I invite her. I'm still alive, I guess. <laughs> I think... Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm a little bit clumsy with the with the computers. <laughs> Hi, hello, hello, hello. I'm a little bit slow. I'm sorry. That's okay. That's okay. I just need to rediscover all of these technical devices and the things and the computers. I'm not really well with that. <laughs> you're you're good. You're good, and you'll be better. Yeah, thank you. I can't hear you well. The sound is really weird. Okay. You're breaking. Uh, can you hear me now? I can hear you, but the sound is really not okay. It's breaking. It's kind of uh, wrinkly, <laughs> should I say that? I don't know if other people have uh, problems with it. Maybe they hear you the same way. Um, can you hear me now? Maybe now I moved through... Uh... It... I can hear you, but mm -hmm. it, it's really, it sounds, sounds weird. Okay, uh, so maybe I should leave the live and then I can get in again because I have no... Well, let's give it a try. Okay, uh, well, raise you, you can hear me well, you can hear me well. You don't yeah, have any I, problem. I, I can hear you very well, yes. Okay, okay, well... I don't know. Other people are what they are saying. Uh... Uh, Ray says, sounds great. So I, I have no idea what's the problem. I haven't had problems since now. So my only solution would be to leave the live and then enter again. If that try, let, Give it a try. And then uh, do you want me to send you an invitation again? Yes, please. Okay. 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 Well, let's do that. Hello, hello. Oh, you're so good. Okay, you sound cool, great. cool. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. <laughs> Finally. Oh, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm doing great today. It's a little bit rainy here where I am, but uh, other than mm -hmm. that, everything is fine. Okay, fine. Well, I say welcome to everybody who joined us today. Um, let me first introduce you with uh, this wonderful lady, and uh, she is a yoga teacher, she's a health coach, she does a, a lot of things like writing books, talking about raw food, and lately she also tried face yoga, and um, yeah, we we're talking today about that, about her experience, and when she went through, and how she experienced the face yoga, so uh, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. So, uh, <laughs> thank you too. And um, yeah, uh, is there anything you want to say about this experience that you? Uh, oh, that absolutely, you absolutely. Well, uh, first of all, I took uh, Vicky's um, a course, face yoga course, a couple of months ago, and uh, I took pictures before and after. Um, so uh, Vicky had. Uh, program in which she could compare these before and after pictures and uh, she will be 
uh, now discussing uh, the, the, the changes that I have made and improvements that I have made through her exercises. Uh, and I'm so excited to hear that because we wanted to make this live so that all of you can uh, hear it as well. Um, and as for the program, I really liked it. The program is a, com uh, is a collection of different exercises for different uh, muscle groups, face, uh, face muscle uh, groups. And uh, I really liked it. Uh, what I liked the most about it is, is that it doesn't really uh, re uh, requires a lot of time in a day, it's just a couple of minutes. But if you're consistent and you're doing these um, exercises, you can see very good improvements. Yeah, you got that well. Uh, it's really important and uh, most of the time uh, I have those kind of questions like how much I need to practice face yoga. We know we're living in a hectic world. Uh, everything is fast. Uh, we are moving fast. Uh, expectations are also huge. And uh, so this, this program really, uh, you know, doesn't require a lot of time and uh, if you do it on a daily basis, uh, it's, it's always, uh, you see the result. Yes. Um, I, have a, I have a question for you, though. Like, uh, why you had any interest for face yoga anyways? What was your main reason to, uh, to uh, go for this program? Oh, uh, okay. So that's such a good question. I was always interested in exercising and I love fitness and I love yoga. And I did a knowledge a couple of years ago that we also have muscle. I mean, I, I knew that like that we have muscles, uh, face muscles as well, but it's something that is usually very neglected. And we don't live in a culture that generally acknowledges that those muscles under your uh, face skin are also muscles that should be worked out. So we just take them for granted, uh, but uh, the shape of those muscles reflect on your uh, facial skin, on your face. So I did acknowledge how important it is just to keep them um, in, in good shape. And then when I uh, found uh, your program, actually you found first my program and then I found you, um, I was so happy to find someone who is actually uh, knows knows how to show exercises, uh, face muscle exercises. And I was uh, very, um, very excited to try to try this. Uh, and now I, uh, I am into this like habit of doing some face exercises every single day, even though I, I did it, I hadn't been doing that before. So uh, generally speaking, um, um, you, you like the program, it's easy to do, and uh, yeah, it, it, did, did, you, did you notice anything? Did you notice any, any changes on your face? I mean, you are living a healthy life, let me put it this way. Um, I'm focusing on a face um, as a face yogi. Uh, through face yoga, I'm also teaching people how to uh, change their lifestyle, and it's not only about face. Um, on a face, in, on a face, you can really definitely see some, uh, you know, uh, changes. But changes on a face, that means also changes in your body. That means changes with your health, with your organs, and, and because we know everything is connected. So uh, by practicing face yoga, you're stimulating certain points in your face, that are affecting your organs. Uh, I know that you're living a healthy life. And so uh, I noticed with your face, you don't have uh, a lot of wrinkles. You don't have actually a lot of, a lot of problems with your face. You're looking really great and you're in a great shape. So uh, you asked me, uh, like, what did I notice? Since, uh, I don't know when you started, actually. It's uh, several months in between. Like you started in... When was it? In April or something? I think it was either April or May that I started the program, and I was doing it first for the twenty uh, for the for thirty days, but then I continued. So I'm still doing, uh, maybe not exactly uh, uh, as as it is planned in the program, but I am doing exercises that I learned through the program uh, still to this day. 
Okay, so you're doing it on a daily basis. Oh yes, oh yes. It's just uh, something that I didn't even think about anymore. I just, uh, after having my morning fitness, I just do a couple of minutes of uh, facial uh, exercises, and uh, it is it it is so easy now. It's just like it, it is it is part of my daily schedule. I don't even think about it anymore. Okay. Um, I wanted to add, like, your program that you, uh, that you took is online program. So it, uh, it's not one-on-one -on -one program, so I didn't um, gave you any tips. They're all written, and just you have an exercise with an explanation, and you have um, under that, like, warming up exercises with it, and I think something, uh, taking care of your skin, it's a skincare, skincare program. With it. Did you did you also use some of those tips, uh, like putting a mask on your face? Oh, and... I have to say that I read them, but I already had my own routines, so I just stick to my own routines. But I read those, those tips, but I have some similar um, uh, similar routines that I've been using for years, so we just uh, stick to those. Okay. Um... Well, um, I would like to show a picture of you uh, before and after. It's on my laptop. Uh, <laughs> it's not a big difference. It's not a big deal. Uh, with you, it's literally a, really a small difference. And it's not that, like, uh, it's not, not noticeable like, like, um, uh, like I have with most of the students. Uh, because you don't have a lack of a collagen, which is, uh, which is amazing you're really healthy and you have a uh, good quality skin and as I mentioned you're you're a healthy person so um, yeah we know that healthy lifestyle affects the skin as the, the hugest organ there is and uh, the skin is uh, in connection with the, our liver so um, that means your liver is very, very healthy <laughs> I hope uh, that everybody can see this. Oh, that's going to be that's going to be difficult because of light. Let me turn off the light. Maybe then I will. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Yes. So on the one picture, I think left my left is uh, before and after. Yes. What I want to show you over here is your mouth the biggest changes that i saw is your mouth the corners of your mouth are actually going downwards slowly it's not an extreme but compare it with this one. Oh, okay so it's slowly going upwards so you get this effect like they're slowly dropping, dropping, and, and drooping, actually uh, pulled by the gravity. So now you have a uh, mouth, they're, they're a little bit going upward, so you have a nice, really nice smile. It, it gives you like a fresher look. Uh, your jawline is also much better. If you see your jawline. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's much better if I would have a paper I would do it better because then I can uh, in, I can't hold I can't hold the laptop and uh, <laughs> use my finger uh, your cheeks they're lifted up okay it's a slow difference but you what it requires is to really look look into the pictures and compare them uh, let me see let me show you this one on one picture the the, the new picture uh, after you i can see that you were tired in, on, on the picture so you need some uh, work on your eyes I would suggest that you uh, do more exercises when it comes to your eyelids, so you can lift them up and you get like uh, your eyes more open. That's uh, one of the things I think you need to work on. 
Yes. Uh, more than usual. Yes. Um, otherwise, there is a, not a big change when it comes to your eyes. Uh, we didn't really talk about it. You didn't really contact me through the process, so I couldn't give you any tips when it comes to that. Oh, I didn't know I was supposed to contact you. Okay, I didn't <laughs> know that. Oh, all right. <laughs> Sorry. And you can see over here before and after, and on the one picture, you look much fresher than on the other one. And if you see the corner of your mouth, one is slightly more lifted than the other one. And if you see the cheek on one side is, is dropping, basically you're losing your cheeks, and the other one is more lifted. I don't know if you can really see that. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, I don't know if anybody noticed this, like uh, people there, they joined, joined us, Did they, do they see any difference if they look at this picture? I, of course, I see that as a professional. I, I see the slightly, uh, you know, slight changes, small changes as well. That's... Uh, <laughs> And the complexion of your skin is much better, I need to say that. Well, well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm glad I made some progress. I have to say, and this will probably mean a lot for people to see, that after I took the before and after picture, I was not able by myself to see the differences. And I thought I didn't make any improvements. But that's just because I've been you know, like looking in uh, myself in the mirror every single day. So I that's something to, with us. Yeah, I got that's always important to, that uh, it's important that somebody else see yes. you in, in the, like before and after, so you can you can you can make the comparison. Yeah. A lot of people are like, uh, we just see really a difference, you know, when they see the picture after. But when we cut one half and the other half. Then, then you can really see and put them together. You can really see then a huge, huge difference. Yeah. Um, and and that's sometimes uh, it depends on the person how much time that person spends on practicing face yoga and how many exercises uh, daily. Um, uh, you know, like a lot of people are focusing just on one area. And I always say, yeah, okay, uh, you can work on one area of your face. It's not a problem. But if you really want to move the, the, the whole face, you know, like uh, if you want to have a good, good, uh, um, uh, to be really happy with your uh, appearance, then you need to practice on the whole face because then you really move the uh, blood and the lymph and then, um, uh, then uh, you will get all the nutrition and oxygen into your face, uh, which will have as an effect like lifting and uh, your muscles will you know, be awakened and uh, that will have tremendous uh, effect on, on, uh, on your yeah, face appearance. Yeah. Well, it does make yeah. sense. It does make sense that we need to practice the whole face, even though sometimes people, for example, they uh, have some minor, uh, 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 like uh, on, on their face, something that they don't uh, uh, they don't like, or maybe something that is not the same on the each side of the face, and then they work only on that one area. But that would be uh, the same as if you're just working on your shoulders and your arms, and you neglect the the the, the rest of the body. So you always have to work on the whole on the whole body and the whole face, all the muscles included. Um, as for me, I would like to open my eyes a little bit more. Um, that's uh, what I would like to do. And uh, I, uh, because I do have these uh, eyelids that are like, not sagging, but okay. just like heavy. And I would yeah. like to open eyes, my, uh, my eyes more. Uh, I would also like to, um, um, yeah, just to uh, maybe... Um, uh, because I have so, so such thin lips, so I would like to, um, well, 
plump up the lips a little bit more. And uh, uh, when I saw your program, how it is divided into these different parts of the face, and then you have these different exercises for each part of the face that really helped me understand which exercises are for which part of the, of the face and how can I, through these exercises, achieve the results that I want. For example, if you want to open your eyes, um, well, this is just one of the exercises, but you literally through the exercise, you're opening your eyes and that's how you affect that part of the, of the face. Or if you want to have your lips a little bit more uh, plumped up, uh, for example, this is one of my favorite exercises and so on. So yeah, I, that, that's, what they, that's the part that I really enjoyed it. Um, by just reading uh, all the descriptions of the exercises, I really understood how the face muscles work. Yes. Yes, exactly. And when I have a clients over here, when I'm specifically talking about you, you're still young. Uh, but if I have older, older ladies over here, uh, they stopping by usually, uh, you know, bumblebee exercise, which you just uh, <laughs> showed us a little bit. It's like, you know, most of those ladies, they can't even do that. And children are really good in that. And um, it's fun also, you know, it lifts the mood, it brings the positivity, it's funny. And um, uh, most of the ladies, they lose the volume in their lips. So because uh, they've lost uh, volume and uh, thickness in the, in, the, you know, in the mouth, they can't even do that exercise. And I'm always like, don't worry, we will work on it. It will get better. And eventually they start doing the exercise. So it's, it's just a matter of uh, time and practice. And uh, yeah, definitely you can, uh, you can uh, lift uh, your, your, uh, your cheeks and your, in your mouth, plump them. Uh, it, it really works. Um, and the other thing that we, we should maybe mention is you don't like chemicals. You don't like to put anything on your face that is not natural. You're completely uh, chemical-free person. <laughs> uh, the same, the same over here as well. I love natural products. Um, you didn't really told me what are you using um, for your face. Uh, do you have something specific that you're putting on your face? Okay. Okay. Well, um, uh, th these are well. They are not really cosmetic products in the real sense of the world, the, the word, but uh, those are just some like products that I've been using. Uh, first, I like to clean my face with rose water, and that's all I use, just rose water. And then uh, I don't put any cream or lotion on my face. I just haven't used any of that, but I do have um, a cacao butter that I like to use for my massage. Uh, um, uh, so I massage face with um, uh, these are uh, what are they called, called uh, like cups. I have uh, silicone cups and then I put on uh, cacao butter. There is actually uh, a video tutorial on my YouTube channel. If anyone is interested, they can just uh, uh, message me and I'll send you the link for that. And then you j just uh, spread that cacao butter on your face and then you take these uh, face uh, silicone uh, cups and then you uh, slide them in the direction of uh, of the muscle uh, uh, muscle fibers and uh, so that's what I do uh, I also um, uh, uh, do um, uh, uh, like a, I have a face um, a facial brush uh, that's what I do with uh, I just brush my face with that and I have a roller massager uh, and actually all these products can be uh, if that's okay to share um, can, can be brought, uh, bought uh, purchased um, uh, uh, ordered through my website hellgloves.net if anyone is interested I can send you the link uh, so I use that and then once a week I have um, a clay uh, that I uh, mix with water very, yes, and yeah, very I just uh, very put very on this clay mask on my face and before I put on uh, the clay mask I have um, I um, 
uh, I steam my face just for five minutes. And then I, uh, I have a steamer, uh, a little mobile steamer that is actually can be also ordered through my website if anyone is interested. And then after I steam my face, uh, I put on that clay mask and I just leave it for maybe uh, 10 to 15 minutes and then I clean it and that's, that's what I use, nothing else. Clay is very good. It cleans up your pores and uh, getting out all the toxins from your face very well. Or it's full of also minerals and gives you protector layer of your on your mm. face. Very nice. Very good. Yeah. Oh, somebody want to ask a question. Uh, we don't want anybody to be alive over here. We can ask the question. If you have any questions, you can just send us questions. Mm -hmm. um, please. <laughs> Um, uh, did, did somebody else in your environment just saw anything? Did, did somebody notice any changes in your face? Well, not that anyone, t t uh, nobody really, uh, told me that I have changed in any, uh, in any particular way, but, uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe they either didn't notice or they, uh, they didn't tell me that they no noticed. I have no idea. But it is really, I think it is uh, hard to see changes if you are looking at someone every day and then you yes. see the that, progress. Yes. And those are like tiny uh, bits of progress every single day. And if you keep uh, looking that, if you witness that, then you won't see the change because you accust you accustom your eyes to those changes every single day. Versus if you see someone... Uh, well, basically, you just need to compare the pictures before and after uh, carefully to see the changes. That's that's all I, that's um, that's I think how, how it is only possible to see the changes. For uh, for I see uh, other people are joining us. For the people who did just joined, we are talking about uh, before and after and experience the, the Marina experience through my program that I'm giving through the face yoga for you dot com. As a face yoga teacher, so I'm teaching women to lift their face to get and look better, younger, uh, on a completely, totally natural, not chemical way. And um, uh, by the way, I just uh, just want to add this. Um, yesterday, I uh, went with my son. Uh, this is a little bit out of the context, but I went to, with my son to uh, to restaurant. He ordered something. And I went outside and he came back and he said like, well, you know, mom, what that woman told me on Bali, and I'd be like, oh, here you are for you and your girlfriend. And, uh, <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, that, that's kind of, he, this is not the first time that, uh, that basically my son who is 20, uh, almost 21 years old, uh, they think that I'm his girlfriend. So this is how face yoga affects you on a way that you look fresher, younger, and basically you're, uh, yeah, you get a compliment like, oh my goodness, you can be a girlfriend. <laughs> Wow, wow. Yeah, you're 20 years old. So, yes. Um, I didn't took any picture of me before and after, but people can see that on, on my uh, web, uh, website. I have a lot of customers over there before and after. Hopefully, we can talk again. Um, in the meantime, I would like to talk with you also about what you should maybe change and apply. So yes. we can make uh, other pictures in several months from now on, but that will be then one-on-one -on -one, um, uh, coaching uh, because I think you uh, you should add some, some things. Maybe we should go through uh, your daily schedule and your routine that you have, and maybe I have some tips for you. And I would I will love to do that if you're interested. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. I would love to. I would love to. I do know what I want to achieve. Um, I mean, achieve. It's just like uh, I, I now when I am introduced to face yoga, I know uh, what improvements I can make. And I'm so much interested in making those improvements. And what is interesting, really, that uh, before, as I said, I was aware that we have muscles on face, but I never really gave it uh, a considerate thought. I just... Uh, took it for granted and I think that most people were not taught to 
think about their face in such a way, uh, but uh, and even to think about that there is a way to make some improvements if you want. So yeah, I am uh, more than open to make further improvements and uh, uh, again do uh, pictures before and after, and then after some time of following your advice and doing some additional exercise exercises on daily basis, we can do. Uh, the the after picture and then compare those two and see uh, have I improved at all have I maybe made some corrections uh, on my face yes did you also we didn't mention how old are you oh okay uh, so would anyone try to guess I am just interested in what would you say what uh, <laughs> what, the, what the viewers would say and then I, I'll be more than happy to share. Okay, we will wait. We'll get some reaction. How can you advise this with acne prone? Oh, wait a second. Mm -hmm. These comments. Can you advise this with acne prone skin? It's okay to wash up face with some of natural soap. Thank you. Well, a uh, question for me, I guess. Uh, depending on the soap, uh, depending if it's natural or not. Uh, some soaps can be very aggressive to the skin. I'm always for natural, as this said. Soaps with olive oil are okay, but um, it also depends on your type of the skin. Acne are connected with your liver, so that means you uh, definitely need to change something in your diet. Uh, yes, we can uh, apply a lot of things locally and uh, topically, uh, to clean our skin and definitely you will get some improvement. Marina just mentioned she uses the clay mask, which is amazing thing against the acne. Um, and there are other ways of uh, cleansing your skin, definitely. But uh, acne, that, that's inflammation. So something is telling you that you need to change something in your lifestyle and your diet. And I would say uh, use both. So pay attention to what you've been eating. A lot of times the milk products and uh, uh, sugars and the meat products can cause a lot of acne and uh, uh, inflammation. Um, and another thing is depending on what kind of cream you're, you're uh, putting on your face, topically that can also cause inflammation. If there are a lot of chemicals in that cream that can also close your pores and they, can, they can't breathe. So the, it depends. I would need to see you, talk with you about your lifestyle. And uh, as I mentioned with Marina, she's completely clean. She has a healthy lifestyle. Uh, she breathes deeply. She, so the, the, the skin is uh, full of oxygen. <laughs> so that, that, is, that is very absolutely very, very important. Uh, so there are a lot of ways to clean the skin, but uh, then I would need to talk with you on one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, we also asked uh, ask you what do you think um, how old Marina is, yes. and maybe had somebody uh, has an idea about it. I don't see any comments. <laughs> yeah, I'll be more than happy to share my age, but I'm just interested. I'm just curious in what people would say. I am a little bit always scared when uh, when I ask that question because you never know what people are going to say and we are so well in that regard I believe that it is not it is hard not to be driven by the ego and uh, you know we wanna um, uh, 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 I, I guess that's just in human nature that uh, that is probably the topic when it comes to our uh, about our appearance that. Uh, we want to show in a good light, light, uh, light right? But then, um, yeah, so <laughs> I'm just curious what people would say. And then I'll be more than happy. So what do you think how old Marina is? Because we're now talking about uh, lifestyle and uh, face and uh, exercises, facial exercises. And we just mentioned about our Marina's lifestyle. And uh, she tried uh, my program and she liked it. And we showed also some pictures before and after. And what do you think? How old is she? Nobody is guessing. Nobody reacts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, when it comes to me, I started in 2017 and uh, this is not now my story, but uh, from 2017 and up until now, 
uh, there is a huge difference in, in my look. And um, I, I, I suppose to look much older <laughs> right now. That's at least what the people experience, uh, you know, like you're getting older, so you need to look older, but that's not the case. Yeah, so, I, yeah. If, if I may uh, just uh, interrupt for a second, I uh, have just given a free webinar on um, on Thursday and a new one is coming on Thursday. If I may share this, uh, is that okay if I share? The free webinar. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, well, thank you. Uh, the free webinar that uh, it's coming up on Thursday, and people can register through my link in my EJ bio. It is a reg uh, it is a webinar that uh, which is titled uh, "A Less Known Secret to Youthfulness," and within that webinar, I tell how we were accustomed to believe that as the time passes by, we are supposed to age in uh in a way that uh, that like our bodies and our face deteriorate and those are the, yes. what we call what we were taught to believe that are the normal symptoms of becoming older but in, within this webinar i teach people how that is not really normal that even though uh, the majority of people were taught to believe that that is normal and that is normal in the sense that we can we can see it left right center but we can really, really change that. And I think that normal is uh, to, uh, to, j to age gracefully, meaning without exactly. symptoms of getting old just because time passes by. And that, that is easily achievable if we just take uh, good care of ourselves. So if you were interested yeah. in, uh, in that, I have a free webinar coming up this Thursday. So check it out through my, uh, through my EG bio. <laughs> Definitely check out Marina website. Yes, she has a lot of a lot a lot of tips, and she talks about her lifestyle. And as I said, she's a, a yoga teacher, she's a health coach, and she can teach you a lot about healthy foods and healthy lifestyle. And I love what she's been doing up till well, now. Thank you. And as you can see, she is a very uh, alive person, very present person, and that says enough. <laughs> So, um, uh, do you have, um, I shall also ask you, but also people that are listening and have questions about face yoga, facial exercise, maybe you have some question. I will add, uh, I will add now, um, uh, as the link for my uh, programs, I have different kind of programs. So you had a program, um, uh, for different regions on the face, um, uh, with videos and tutorial, I mean, with uh, also text under it. So it's without me being one on one and giving you tips. But there is also another program that's a full program for face yoga, which uh, we talk about everything basically. It's one hour on, on um, a face yoga, and in which I'm telling you personally things uh, about besides exercises, also health, life, lifestyle, and a lot of other tips that I'm giving. Um, so there are different programs over there. You can check it out on my on my website, see what you would like to do and uh, to prefer. Uh, do you have any, any question uh, when it comes to face yoga? I'm asking you, Marina. <laughs> oh, you're asking me. I thought you were, you were asking the viewers. Okay, well, thank you for this, uh, for this question. Uh, let me see. Um, n right now, there is nothing that is on top of my head right now, uh, like, uh, in regard to the questions about face yoga, because really, uh, your program helped me so much. Uh, uh, because I read all the descriptions of your videos of your exercises. Uh, so uh, in the video, you just show the exercise, and then I repeat uh, the exercise, but under the exercise, uh, under the video itself there are descriptions and uh, they really helped me a lot and uh, what also really helped me is to read all of the explanations about different uh, muscle groups on the face for example if i go to the module uh, just for the eyes and then first i read about like uh, the the eye muscles and um, and that's really like how they are structured how they are how they work how we can improve them uh, so that really 
helped me uh, right now I'm not sure if I have any question um, I would probably uh, be mostly uh, interested to see uh, does this really work? But then on your website, you have a special page dedicated to before and after pictures of your clients. And you saw that. So in a way you answered uh, your website and your program answered mm, like uh, so, so far all the questions that I had. I wanted to add also that like besides like uh, uh, exercising on a, on a face, um, uh, we're doing uh, through this program also warming up exercise and a lot of people asking me why warming up exercise one one of the reasons is a lot of people are spending uh, a lot of time behind the computer and uh, yeah screens like a uh, phone so uh, they're pulling also their heads down and uh, because of that uh, the blood circulation over here is not really well and we're not really good so the next are always <laughs> I'm calling the banana next. <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, a lot of people have a back problems, and that's why we are doing uh, through this program also warming up exercises to open up the chest, to open up this area, so the blood circulation can you know the blood can flow, and uh, a lot of people after exercises if they feel like really the uh, uh, the flow in their face suddenly and. They becoming red and they have red cheeks suddenly and that's what i said like i i see changes with you like you have better complexion and the structure of the skin that really changed uh um unfortunately we could share that through instagram but i showed it through the computer and um yes i definitely see changes and uh, i would like to continue with you in the future and see what that's going to bring us yeah, me too, me too. And since nobody, uh, and, thank, and thank you for wanting to collaborate with me, I would like to work uh, with you further. Um, and since nobody answered the question, how old am I? So I can answer this question if people are interested. Uh, so yeah, uh, at least tell us, would you, would you like me to answer this $1 million question or you're absolutely not interested in that? Just let us know. <laughs> and let, let us, let's see uh, what people say. But I mean, it's not a secret anyway. Uh, so, um, uh, yeah, uh, I would like to continue to work with you. Uh, maybe it would be interested now if you uh, told uh, us all, uh, me and uh, to our viewers, what exactly, okay, you already said that I need to uh, work more on my eyes because of my eyelids. Uh, and what else would you in particular tell me that I need to focus on? Uh, Nasolabial fold. Uh, I think they need to oh, be lifted yes. up. We, uh, yes, I, I saw your videos from before. Uh, you're smiling a lot, which is good. You're training your, your cheeks, your muscles. That's good. That's wonderful. I always say, what is the best exercise in the face yoga? Smile. <laughs> Just lift the corners of your mouth up because I'm saying like people, they don't smile enough, they don't laugh and uh, everything on our face and our bodies is sending signals to our brain and it's connected. So when you get a droopy, uh, basically when those corners are going downwards through the gravitation, through the gravity, um, uh, yeah, that's sending signals to your brain that you are not happy. And so uh, uh, when I see you, I see a happy person. You're smiling, uh, and that is, that, is, that is wonderful to see because um, definitely your brain gets signals like, hey, I'm happy, here I am, you know, and so that, is, that is wonderful. So, um, but still, um, through the time, we're losing collagen. Um, production and uh, so I would work on an labial folds definitely and through that uh, through that you will lift up also your corners of your mouth and uh, on your eyelid definitely and one of the things um, I think uh, that you should work on is also um, not to be so exposed to the sun uh, I don't know if you are yes. um, using any protection uh, I don't go for any chemical protection whatsoever. That's uh, absolutely uh, not the case with me. So I'm not using um, uh, those chemical creams against uh, 
against the sun. Um, uh, and uh, so uh, if you would um, prefer to do something, you know, put something natural on your face or maybe to stay out of the sun when the sun is really, really hot, uh, because the damage of the skin, um, you don't see it immediately, but later on, maybe you will, uh, you will notice that. Oh, so that's, absolutely. That's, that's, uh, that's something. And I would also like to talk with you about how do you sleep, which position you're taking, uh, what kind of pillow. And that's something for maybe another subject, because that's also very important, <laughs> because you can create these wrinkles on your neck. <laughs> so that is also also uh, one of the things. But um, uh, nasolabial folds, eyelids, and uh, corners of your mouth, that is, that is something uh, I think uh, you should work on. A forehead, I don't see a lot of, a lot of uh, problems right now. Maybe that will change through the time, but right now I don't see any wrinkles. Uh, your liver is pretty happy. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, you're taking care good of your liver. <laughs> that is wonderful. And uh, I think I think that's pretty much it for now. Yes. Well, actually, you said it all so well. Thank you for that. Uh, you definitely, like, uh, while we were talking, I thought that you had some magical bow in, uh, in front of you because, because you could exactly read my mind. Everything that you said uh, were the very specific things that I know I should improve. I know like about my eyes and the nasolabials, uh, those um, lines. Uh, I am so aware of that and I would like to improve that. And then I, uh, and I was just thinking the other day, oh, I need to change my pillow because it is not good anymore. It doesn't support the right position of my neck, which can create some wrinkles in my neck. And, yeah. um, and as for the sun, uh, I will share this, that I hadn't been, I haven't uh, used any sun cream any sun protection at all for years and years and i've been spending a lot of time in the sun and i became aware of that only two years ago uh and uh, i started uh just avoiding um uh, just protecting my face at, at least uh when the the sun is the uh in its uh, on it uh, on its peak uh and i also yeah. started wearing yeah. uh, sunglasses mm -hmm. uh, but i i bought a good good very good quality excellent quality sunglasses and i wear them whenever the sun is the strongest because i realized that um uh if uh, if I am uh, without any eye protection uh, in the in the strongest sun, I tend to make uh, eye movements uh, that create wrinkles. So I'm aware of that, and I am aware that uh, like some people say that there are uh, negative sides to wearing sunglasses. But we do not live mm -hmm. in the jungle anymore. And when I am out uh, in the city where everything around me is concrete, and then the sun rays uh, reflect from that concrete, it is much much more difficult to stay eye opened uh, in, in with all those reflections as yes. if we were in yes. the jungle. Especially when you're driving the car as well. Oh yeah, absolutely. But if, you know, if yeah. we were in the in the in the jungle, the leaves themselves and the trees would protect me. And thus, I absolutely started wearing sunglasses when the sun is the strongest, uh, and that really really helped me. Um, so now I'm trying to like. Um, um, uh, do some improvements of uh, the the bad things that I I, I had I had been doing because I didn't know better in the past. So yeah, you absolutely guessed everything, and I'm aware of everything that you said. But um, yeah, you absolutely guessed everything that I need to improve on. Awesome, <laughs> awesome, yeah. Good that you notice all those things. Most of the people don't even notice, and they follow just. Uh, well, they don't think um, about it. Quick, quick fix, uh, which can basically, on the long term, can damage you more than um, than something something like this, which is pretty natural. I was attracted to face yoga like several years ago because it it I can combine my lifestyle with it, and I believe definitely in the nature and everything that nature is giving to us. So on that way, I want to also to present that it is possible. And uh, a lot of times when I when I talk with the people and ask me, what are you doing? Uh, I, I say I'm a face yogi and they're like, what is that? They never heard of it. There are not a lot of 
uh, face yogis right now, uh, at least uh, not as much as people would need to have. So, um, yeah, I think uh, this is, uh, this is re you know, kind of revolution in the sense of um, uh, th there is a lot of out there in, when it comes to beauty products, when it comes to uh, quick fix, the surgery, botox, and, and you name it to fix uh, our faces, to get uh, younger, uh, but um, on a, on a long term, it's not always the best uh, choice you can make for yourself. So, Absolutely. Um, yes. So, and then through this, you also uh, work on all, also on other things in your life besides just your face and your beauty. I always say like, oh, people think, Face yoga is just and only focused on the face. No, it's much more than that. But since you didn't have a uh, one-on-one uh, -on -one program with me, then you, you just use the, the standard program, video program, online program. Uh, then uh, we can talk some other time on one-on-one uh, -on -one lessons and that experience. Absolutely. I am um, sorry I interrupted you. <laughs> No, no, no. I, I just said, yeah, I would love that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I don't know if people have any other questions about face yoga, about facial exercises, uh, about anything else, what is related to you, your experience before and after. I just need to mention a Marina experience. Uh, face yoga, she practiced that for a while, and we were just talking about before and after. Maybe it's uh, interesting to show pictures again. Uh, we have time and we can then uh, close it slowly, the conversation. I think we, uh, we uh, touched all the topics and uh, my laptop just closed down. Okay. This is um, Marina's picture. Uh-oh. Is everything all right? Yeah, everything is fine. Mouse fell. This is Marina before and after. You can see some slightly changes. We can't really talk about huge changes over here because Marina is a very busy woman. She has a healthy lifestyle and she is naturally <laughs> lifted up. <laughs> she has good skin and she looks uh, good for her age. We didn't talk about your age. Uh, nobody even... Uh... <laughs> nobody yes. suggested... Okay. You, would you like to share that with us? How old are you? Oh, absolutely. I was born in 1985, which means that I am uh, 36 years old. And you look, and you look 10 years younger. Well, thank you. Thank you. That really means a lot to me. It really means a lot. Thank you. Yes, because um, there are not a lot of ladies out there uh, who dare to get out of the house without makeup. So you're one of the women. What, what actually, what was your goal? Uh, let me ask you that question. What was your goal with face yoga? What did you want it to achieve? Excellent, excellent. It's an excellent question. Uh, well, uh, I do know that uh, there are like these minor um uh, like things on my face that I want to improve, like to open my eyes a little bit more and plump my uh, um, thin lips a little bit more and uh, and things like that. But uh, my, but those are those are just minors. Uh, the the main thing that I wanted to achieve with face yoga is the is the main thing that I want to achieve with uh, with the fitness and yoga that I've been doing for years and years, and that is to uh, just. Um, stay uh, in generally healthy and youthful. That's my goal, to stay generally healthy and youthful throughout my life. Uh, it's not something that I do now for uh, for some uh, particular result that I want to see now. No, that, that's something that I just want to see in my lifestyle throughout my life so that I can maintain a good shape of my body throughout my life. And that's like... Well, yeah, I think that's the simplest, the simplest and the most nat nat natural to to achieve that is uh, through exercising. Okay, what do you see in your surroundings? A lot of uh, women out there um, uh, use makeup. Uh, 
I didn't notice that you're using makeup as much as your surroundings. Let me put it that way. You, you, you live in an area where women uh, love to put the makeup and to look good. Okay. Um, you're living in Serbia. Uh, Serbian women love to take care of themselves. They love to look good. Um, I live in an area you know, on the other side of Europe. I'm, I'm living in Holland. In this area where I'm living, women are pretty much natural. They don't really, this is another extreme. Um, but how do you experience uh, women around you and how do they experience you? Oh, that's such a good question. Okay, so I um, I do have days when I uh, wear makeup, but that's uh, usually, uh, not usually, but almost always, only when I have uh, have to wear makeup for my business. If I have like a shooting or uh, some other occasion where I have to wear makeup, I'll do that. Um, and I do love that uh, as well. But on daily basis, I wear, I wear zero makeup. I I have like such uh, uh, just a couple of pieces of makeup. It is even embarrassing how little that is, but I, I don't wear makeup uh, because I do know that um, many people uh, are trying to cover with cosmetics what is not working inside of them. Uh, so I am trying uh, not to cover anything uh, to be like open book <laughs> and try just to maintain uh, just my like overall health in the best possible position uh, condition that I can with my genetics. And I know how, you know, everyone is limited down to their genetics, but at least we can uh, do our best to make the most out, out, out of our genetics. Uh, so how do people preser uh, pre um, see me? Uh, uh, I did work in some uh, years and years ago when I used to work in, um, in some companies and uh, and stuff so uh, i don't know people usually thought that i was uh, much younger than uh, the rest of the like women around me or, and men and um uh like uh i guess uh, hmm. uh yeah just uh i i would say youthful but um and uh, somebody who likes to show her natural uh, condition of the body let's put it that way but uh really you, you would have to ask them <laughs> that question uh that would be an interesting question how do you see marina <laughs> but yeah <laughs> uh, at the end of the day i think that question should be addressed to those who see me in a in a in a in a particular way i can only guess uh, again, we're talking about face yoga, facial exercises, the facelift, natural facelift, and Marina is explaining about uh, her, um, her before and after her experience. If you have any questions, ask us uh, about, uh, uh, yeah, face, oh, the, the line is breaking up, I see. Um, if you have any questions, what it has to do with face yoga and facial exercises, you can, you can ask me. Um, yeah, um, what should I, uh, add to this? My, uh, let me say, like, what was my goal? My goal was, um, to get out of the house without makeup and, uh, to look and feel good about myself. And, um, I think that is, that is very important, um, you know, to be completely natural and to feel good in your own skin. So uh, since I'm working with a lot of ladies, uh, you're pretty young. Uh, I work also with what, older older ladies. Then you know usually women are focusing on children, career, and and business and school. And when they're done with that, then one day just uh, um, um, suddenly see themselves in the mirror and they're like, oh my gosh, so. Uh, you know, where am I in, in all of this process? And they lose kind of the, themselves, their, uh, um, yeah, the beauty. And this is, this is the way basically to come back to yourself through this whole process. Somebody said, like, I, I yoga every day, probably. I do yoga every day. That's good for you. It's harp, Fred Gill, I don't know. <laughs> Somebody made a comment. That's good for you. Do yoga every day. And Marina is doing uh, yoga uh, for the body. I'm doing face yoga. So 
so we can combine that. <laughs> yeah, that's, both of them are very important. Absolutely, absolutely. If you yes. have any questions, you can ask us so we can close it slowly. I think, uh, yeah, I think we, we touched uh, all the subject. And, uh, yeah. Yeah well, yeah, well, thank you for having me on this live and thank you for your beautiful online program. I was really honored to go through that program and uh, I see a lot of benefits and I'm looking forward to continue working with you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm so happy to hear that. I'm so glad that you love the program and uh, that you would like to continue and that you can inspire other women with your experience as well and that you can share that with them. I will just add my uh, link once more, one more time for my programs. As I said, like the Marina just did the uh, program. Uh, uh, there were like video programs online uh, without me as a, as a coach. <laughs> she has a pretty busy life. So for her, this was the best way to, uh, to get uh, cheaper results. Um, so there are two ways, basically an online program, which you can do uh, on a daily basis through a computer or your phone. And there is an one-on-one uh, -on -one session through the Skype and online with me. And to have like personal contact, not everybody likes to have just uh, um, yeah, video programs. And um, there are all kinds of possibilities to so check it out. And if you want to join me in this, uh, if you want to change your face, if you are not happy with your face, if you would like to um, to take off five to ten years from your face on a net, completely natural way, uh, join me. And you know where to find me. I just post the link. And I'll talk with Marina uh, more about this subject. And next time we will talk about what she does. And she also has a, a lot of tips for you and uh, stay healthy, stay well, stay uh, true to yourself, uh, choose for nature and natural uh, things in your life, and um, you will get the answers there. And that's, love yourself. <laughs> that's right. Well, thank you. Thank you, Marina, so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you so for, for joining me and joining this program, and thank you for uh, yeah, sharing this experience with us. You're so welcome. Thank you for everything. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a nice day, all of you.